everyone, this is Miss Gabby. Welcome to our story time for the third week of our 2021 summer reading program, Reading Colors Your World. Today we're going to be reading Through George's Eyes, written by Rachel Rodriguez and illustrated by Julie Paschikis. And this book is all about the artist George O'Keefe, who we've been learning about this week. Let's get started. Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, 1887. George's first memory. She will always remember these colors and the brightness of light. Light all around. Soon Georgia runs and plays games with her brothers and sisters. Her father gives her sweets and plays Irish tunes. Her mother reads stories and cares for the younger children. Everyone works hard on the farm. Georgia roams the prairie, the trees and land, keep her company. Pencil and sketch pad comfort her. She discovers she likes to be alone. Seasons melt into seasons on her family's farm. Georgia struggles to show on paper what she sees. Yeah, that can be kind of difficult. Sometimes we get inspired by the nature around us and so we might color exactly what we see or we color what we feel, how the nature makes us feel. At 12, she takes painting lessons. She tells her friend, I am going to be an artist. But in 1899, only boys become artists. A girl wishing to be one is scandalous. Isn't that silly? Girls and boys can be artists. Huh. Georgia sees life differently. She paints and paints. Hours pass without notice. She wonders if she can achieve her dream. She walks around the lake and hikes into the woods. Everywhere she looks, shapes hum and sing to her. At art school, brushes and canvas become her language. Paint speaks for her. Water, color, and oil are her words. Oh, that's so nice that she has such a deep relationship with art and that she loves nature. Look at how nice everything looks. For a time, Georgia lives in the city. She walks through canyons of concrete. She misses the outdoor world. The sun steals a bite from a skyscraper, the faraway place. Open sky and land calls her. And wow, do you notice a, a big difference between the city and the country or the outdoor world? What differences do we see? Definitely different colors. So the city is kind of dark and gloomy and in comparison, this, uh, the country or the outdoor world is bright and colorful. Look at these bright reds and bright blues and look at these pretty hills and mountains. Wow, no wonder she misses it. This is pretty gloomy. The wideness and wonder of the world amaze Georgia. She wants to share this magic with others. Flowers delight her. She paints them as giants. People stop to stare. Georgia's flowers make them feel like tiny butterflies flitting through the universe of her garden. And wow! So Georgia O'Keeffe is known for her beautiful flowers as we learned this week. How beautiful! Look at how bright there are. they are. The colors that she mixes to get the oranges, the reds, the yellows, the black, and they're huge. Can you imagine a, a canvas that's bigger and taller than you? Taller than all of the adults you know? That's amazing. What amazing work George O'Keefe is known for. She moves to Ghost Ranch in New Mexico. Red hills, cliffs, silence, and the far away surround her. In the desert, she discovers extraordinary things, skulls. The bones don't frighten Georgia. To her, they are alive and strong. Their beauty astounds her. So wow, in addition to being known for painting beautiful flowers, Georgia O'Keeffe is also known for painting bones, which might sound a little creepy, but to her, they're really interesting to paint. Isn't that cool? Georgia expresses feelings in her own way. Words work, but for her, the color blue says, says it better. Or red, 
or a seashell, a pale bone, sunset. Wow, so she communicates through her art, through the colors that she uses, through the things that fascinate her. Wow, look at this, how pretty. The trees and hills whisper their secrets. They are friends, always there for her. A canyon calls her. From the bottom at dusk, she sees a long line of cows above, black lace against the dusty sky. Wow, so she can spend hours and hours by herself painting what she sees. And who could blame her? Look at how pretty the sights are. This wild tree, this beautiful empty desert, the cows. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. She hikes at dawn, she climbs a ridge, the land enchants her. A range of hills is a mile of elephants with white sand at their feet. Wow, so the hills look like elephants to her. She's using her imagination. And do you see an elephant in the hills? Hmm, oh, yeah, I kind of see one. There's its body, its ears, its eyes, its trunk. Wow. Sometimes her chow chow tags along. He hops around rocks and chases antelope. They float ahead of her yelping, of her yelping dog. Georgia follows them. She breathes in the dawn. A sea of sage covers the plain before a mountain, like waves lapping against a shore. Wow, how fun it is to take hikes with your dog. It must be funny to see her a dog chasing an antelope. <laughs> Sometimes she climbs a ladder to her roof. The moon rises above. Beneath a giant canvas of inky night and silvery stars, Georgia dreams. Wow, what a beautiful sight to see. The stars, the sky, the moon. She really loves nature. Even now, Georgia can show you the world as she sees it. Open your eyes and walk along. See the colors, hear the shapes singing. Yes, everybody has a different feeling associated with color or they see different things in nature, different shapes, different outlines. Wow. No need to hurry. Lean in, look closer, closer still. There, the wideness and wonder of the world. Oh, that's so nice. Georgia went out in the world and painted what she saw and felt in nature. That's so beautiful. Well, that's the end of our story. It was so fun to learn more about Georgia O'Keeffe and her paintings. And I love learning about how colors made her feel in nature, the way she drew and painted what she saw, the shapes, the outlines. It's all really interesting. Well, make sure to look at the questions that we've published along with the video. Until next time, bye!